What's happening, fam? LAL movement still moving. Book and title, Lessons from a Non-Custodial Father. Amazon Kindle Create Space. What if life is a test? I'm not a um, religious person. I don't uh, claim a religion. Very spiritual, but not into these religions. Not into the dogma of religion. But... You know, I had a conversation with my homeboy not too long ago, and I've been thinking about this previously. You know, when I go outside and I look up at the sky and I think, and I just, you know, just regular old life, I think these type of thoughts, like, you know, the soul is housed by the body. The body is nothing more than the machine, you know, and we're the energy that, that drives it. And this planet we live on, this universe we live in, everything is just a little too perfectly in order for there not to be a, um, for everything to just be happenstance by mistake. I never, I never meet old people who's lived a, a, a good life afraid of death. As a matter of fact, the older people who get it right, they usually have these dreams of people who are in their family or friends telling them, job well done, you, you can come home when you want to, you know? That's what usually happens. People who don't live so well, they have a lot of anxiety and fear. I don't think it's of death that they have, they have a fear of what, what's going to happen to them when they die because I think they have different type of experiences. But that's the thing. You know, I believe you have to earn transcendence. You know, just like the idea of you have people who say, you know, they see a white light. Well, what happened? Well, maybe you didn't get what happens. Some people may see a white light because they didn't get it right and they rebirth again in that white light may be the hospital room. I, I mean, could be, you know, just my thoughts. But also, I think this is a test because <laughs> the range of emotions that a human being has, not a human, just just most most living living creatures on this planet, you know, but regret is a special because. You get depressed when you're not accomplishing your goal. And we all don't know what our goal is, per se. We know we should be doing something, but, but part of life is figuring out what it is we're supposed to do. You know, to find our purpose or to be, um, to be the, the, the foundation or the person who keeps the ball rolling for the next generation, we have a responsibility. And because we have this responsibility, that's where regret comes in. Because I think a lot of people's mental problems, uh, spiritual problems, emotional problems, physical problems come from the stress and anxiety of knowing that you're not really doing what it is you, you're supposed to be doing. Whether it's, you know, it's less stressful for a person finding their way than it is for a person who knows their gift or knows their purpose and just doesn't do it. I think our decision making is part of the test, you know, because there will be no need to have morals and ethics or to get joy out of helping people or to get joy out of out of people's pain if there was no um if there was no nothing more than the life we live in the reason i say that is because you know people talk about energy and i'm one of those people who believe that you know yeah i've had those what you call astral projection uh, things happen in my life uh, I've had the experiences where I've had 
which some people would consider dreams that were just a little too, were, were just were more than dreams. I'll put it like that, where you wind up talking to people who aren't here no longer, or dreams of the deja vu dreams that, you know, you know isn't just a dream because you know the difference between a dream and the deja vu, the deja vu reality of it, you know. I think what winds up happening is that we don't, we, we ignore the reality that we are here for a reason. And we act like, because here, human procrastination is one funny thing to me. Because on one end, we procrastinate like we got all the time in the world knowing death is imminent. And on the other end, we have anxiety for not fulfilling our potential because of um, our own fears knowing that this doesn't last forever. You know, and you look back in history, you know, whether it's, and I, because I look at religions and I put them all together. Uh, that's how I, that's why I say I'm a spiritual person, not a religious person. Because, you know, you look at the Egyptian gods and their mirror of the Anunnaki and how the Isis Osiris is the Christian story. And then you have, you know, um, all of the quote unquote uh, Buddhism, you know, the the idea of the Tower of Babel and the separation of the nations and separation of the languages and how we are separated as nations and languages and you know it's just a lot. But it was all for us to to um, carve out our own judgment because. When 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 I go to sleep at night, I, I know nothing, not conscious. When I wake up, brand new experience. But when I go to sleep at night and there's something that that needs to be known or something, you know, sometimes you just have dreams and sometimes something a little bit more than dreams. What I mean by that is. You start to you start to learn over time when you become open to it and less um, open to the foolishness in the world that this ain't this life isn't just it. You know, my homeboy told me he said, "Man, you know, when you, you, sometimes the body seems so limiting because there's so much more you know you could do, but you can't do because you're in the body." And He's right about that. Plus, in my in my opinion, we we all are similar. You know, there are people who look like you. We are, there are people who have the same features as you. I don't just mean skin color. I mean literally, there are people. Of every different race and ethnicity who in, in ways look the same you know and then you see how people have carved out their bodies differently by the way that they live their lives but you can see them and like damn y'all look alike jeez y'all ain't related to nothing so you know I think we all we're all just um, vessels we all just spirits you know renting these vessels to, to keep thing keep this planet in order, keep this life in order, and also earn our transcendence. Because you know, I I put before you life and death and you, you choose. So this is our test to choose. And you know, I think that's why some people get religious as they get older or overly religious because they deal with more of the spiritual, the principles and spiritual principalities that they ignored when they were young and wild and just didn't think. Um, but I firmly believe, you know, this is a test. 
and you know that's why I say I don't I don't see I don't see the fear of death because when you look around the world the world is set up a little too perfectly to <laughs> to actually exist and think that oh I just came here for these 70 80 90 years 100 years and then that's it no, the, all of the people that I that I've close that, that I'm close to that have passed on, I've all had experience. I've had experiences with them. Weird, and and they've had experiences with other family with other family members on my behalf. You know, so um, it's my opinion, man. Um, just taking into consideration. Peace.